it is a fantastic time to be alive. We are at the dawn of the fourth industrial revolution. It's an age where technology is becoming cheap enough and powerful enough to solve some of society's biggest problems. It's an age that's being enabled by an exponential growth in computing power, sensors and connectivity and our never-ending hunger for new technology. And it's enabling some amazing things. For example, thanks to computing power, machine learning, image recognition, machines can now detect breast cancer 80% better than humans. It can do it 30% earlier. How's that for um, improved survival rates with better detection? Robots and AIs are now not only smart enough to do complex tasks, they can now talk to you on the phone and hold a conversation with you. A number of you in this room have already spoken to one of them and probably not realised it when you were dealing with a service provider with some annoying little niggling problem they had. Thanks to cheap LEDs, cheap sensors, computing power, indoor farming is now more cost effective than traditional agriculture. It also comes with the bonus of a 95% reduction in water and no pesticides. Who'd like a lab-grown burger? Ethical, low carbon footprint, no pesticides, no steroids. In two to three years, cheaper than farm-grown beef. Now, if a lab-grown burger is not your style, why don't you print out your own burger at home? 3D printing has come a long way in the last few years. You can now print skin for burns victims. You can print entire aircraft engines, fully operational air engines from metal powders, or if your complete smart ass is like the Dutch, you can 3D print an entire bridge. <laughs> Autonomous cars, we all know about these, they're coming, right? Car ownership becomes obsolete. Mobility becomes a weekly subscription service for everyone, including the disabled and the elderly. So we're living in an amazing time, but we are also living in a time where technology has become cheap enough and powerful enough to create some big problems. The OECD predicts in the next 20 years, 50% of all jobs could be automated by robots and AIs. And why is that? In six years' time, a $1,000 computer will be more powerful than the human brain. In 35 years' time, a $1,000 computer will be more powerful than the entire human race. Knowledge workers now know less than IBM's Watson. Oncologists don't know as much about cancer as a computer. Watson knows more about case law than, than um, barristers. Clearly knows more than these two guys, they're getting completely smashed. Robots are now cheaper than workers in developing countries. And here's a big problem. Robots don't pay tax. So who's going to be paying for the roads and the hospitals when all the jobs have gone to the robots? big problem. Traditional agriculture is going to get smashed, quite frankly. Lab-grown meat, lab-grown milk and eggs, those two things are already in, in use around the world, as well as indoor farming. And what's that going to do for Australia, since we're seemingly still too dumb to produce anything for the world other than primary produce? Transport's going to be heavily affected. Autonomous vehicles will get rid of three million jobs in the US alone. What about 3D printing? Why the hell would you transport something when you can just print it at home or in the shop and pick it up on demand? So, there are some amazing things happening. There are some scary things happening. What are some of the key things I'd like you to take away from this? Two things. Firstly, your life isn't what you think it is. The second thing is you need to do something about that. So, is this the life that you were sold as a child? This is the life your parents have led. Your usable knowledge for society and organisations goes up at school, at uni, plateaus throughout your career, then diminishes when you retire. That life is now gone. To be useful to society, to be useful to organisation, to live a fulfilling life, you need to learn and keep learning all throughout your life and possibly reinvent yourself and just drop what you're doing and do something completely different to have a fulfilling life. How are you going to do that? Three things. Firstly, change your perspective on the world. Stop watching the news, as recommended earlier. <laughs> Poverty, global poverty is down, Globity, global malnutrition is down, longevity is up, education levels are up, great things are happening around the world. Second thing, learn to code. If you want to protect yourself against automation, be the one writing the automation code. <laughs> Seriously, all new technology is based on code. Thirdly, the big one, 
You need to become a continuous learner to make the most of this time. Be curious always. Learn, relearn, unlearn, and make the most of this amazing time. Thank you.